Oh yeah, I'd say so. I think um, it just has to do with whether I, you know, retweak it or anything like that could send me back a little bit. So we want to make sure it's fully healed. I mean, I would like to, but it definitely depends on tomorrow's practice and getting through a full practice and seeing what the doctor in Janelle says. Um, I was definitely frustrated because I felt like um, I was at a point where um, I was just comfortable on the court in all kind of aspects, and I felt like I was contributing um, in different ways that I hadn't contributed last year. So it was definitely frustrating just from that standpoint of me feeling like I was in such a better place than I was and um, kind of having that put me back a little bit. But I'm grateful that um, it's only been a short amount of time and it's the beginning of the season as well. So um, I'm going to still have an opportunity to get back to where I was. Um, well, yeah, I definitely knew it was something different because usually um, I sprain this ankle a lot and usually just get up and walk after and after a couple steps it's fine and coach knows that Janelle knows that so nobody was sending me to sub or having to run over there because um, I usually just walk it off but um, it was definitely a little felt different than a normal sprain so I just felt like the best option for me at that point was to come out and uh, you know not try to re-aggravate it especially because I was thinking about the upcoming trip too as well and I thought that you know if I sat out the second half I would have good chance of playing that but things changed after that <laughs> if it wasn't Notre Dame would you want to sit out another game and give yourself a, a break to get it stronger or are you just anxious to get back oh, period ready to play um I was joking with um Chloe our grad assistant on the bench she's like you know I'm not I'm not really feeling sitting in these sweats anymore so I'm ready to get back out there and start playing Lou practiced today and um she actually looked she looked pretty good. Obviously, she's a little bit rusty. I, I didn't realize until yesterday that she she's only played two games, actually one and a half. <laughs> you know, here I thought she just missed last week. I mean, she she's only she's she's only played one and a half games, and uh, she's a little bit rusty, but she looked pretty good. Uh, but we got one more one more practice tomorrow. We'll see how that goes, and then we've got shoot around. And, on Sunday morning, and we'll see how that goes. And you know, she's expecting to play. I'm expecting her to play. So, barring anything unforeseen, that's the plan. Well, having Fiso on the floor, I mean, having Lou on the floor changes everything that we do because uh, you know she kind of bridges that gap between our perimeter guys and our inside guys. You know, and right now uh, we really don't have anyone else that does that. So when we put her out on the floor, you can see the difference today in practice. How everything is so much, so much cleaner, so much smoother. Um, you know, she understands the game probably better than anybody we have. Um, she she's able to stretch the defense probably further than anybody we have. She probably can create the most mismatches because of who they have to put on her to guard her. Um, so, and it's another ball handler out on the floor that you can always use. So not having had her, when you look at the scores of some of our games and the, you know what we've been able to do, I think it's been pretty. It's been pretty good. I think it's been really good.